I decided to play every Call of Duty game I own. I know, what a shocker, we're back on this again. My last video was on Black Ops 2, and for today's video, I decided to go back to... That's right, everybody. We're going back to Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare for today's video. This video is going to be so weird because I really wanted to try and play the multiplayer, but because of me living in Australia, yeah, it didn't really go to plan, which is really freaking unfortunate, but I mean, what can you do about it? So I decided to go for the plan B and go and play some campaign after 17 years. I know, it's, that's freaking insane for a game like this. Yeah, because Call of Duty 4 came out all the way back in 2007. I think I was only like five when it came out. I know I was way too young for that, but knowing my life, I still played it when I was like maybe eight or nine. Yeah, I was still too young to play it, but you know what? At the same time, it was actually good for me to play the games back then when I was younger because I'm still playing Call of Duty now, but god damn, I wish I was older back in the day and actually experienced what the game used to be. I mean, I can still enjoy it now, but it's not gonna be the same. Yeah, I'll shut up. But besides everybody, I'll shut up. Let's get into the video. Yeah, this is the best time for me. Holy crap, that's so fing bright. 50,000 people used to live here. That's Ghost Town. Well, god damn, Call of Duty 4. Modern Warfare. Holy crap, how old is this game? Oh, okay, yeah, thanks. What's up, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome back to some more Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare in 2024. I know, what an absolute shocker. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know, I'll shut up. So anyways, for today's video, we will be playing some multiplayer because, I mean, for the campaign, I really don't want to play the campaign at the moment, so I'm sorry about that. And we're just going to see if the game is, like, still worth it after so many years of the game being now. And also, if you can find matches, as the lobby's, like, hacked as well, there's a lot of things that I'm going to be testing out on this if I could find a match because me living in Australia is really hard to find matches nowadays. Only because if a game dies it's actually dead. There's no way you'll be able to find matches ever again. Come to Australia! <laughs> <laughs> also do know that I did play this all the way back in August, I believe, last year because I uploaded a video on... I went back to the OG Modern Warfare, it felt like 2007. That video did pretty well, which I do appreciate every single one of for that. But anyways, oh shut up, let's go and find a multiplayer match and I really hope for the best. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, but okay. I always forgot how, how simple the classes used to be back in the day. I mean, god damn, look at COD now. Holy crap, there's 3,000 people online on this game? Well, to make it easy, let's go and play some Team Deathmatch and let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the problem about Call of Duty 4. So basically, I was trying to find a match for at least half an hour, and yeah, it didn't really go to plan because it seems to be that either the servers are broken or no one in Australia or New Zealand are even playing Bloody COD 4 in 2024 on the Xbox 360, the Xbox One. So yeah, it was pretty unfortunate, but at least I had a plan B for the video, so thank God for that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem. It's been about half an hour. I don't think there's any lobbies you could actually find on this game. That is so unfortunate, dude. You're gonna tell me that there's, like, no one playing this game at my time right now? Like, nobody? Okay, instead of the multiplayer, which is so unfortunate, because I actually was getting quite excited to play that, but, yeah, it didn't really go to plan, so I'm sorry about that. So, I guess we'll just play the campaign instead. Oh, mate, there's too many good freaking missions on here, man. The prologue was really damn good, man. And I think my favorite mission out of Act 1 was Charlie Don't Surf, and Shock and Awe. That was really good, man. And I think for Act 2, because Act 2 was personally my favorite one, which was all gillied up, one shot, one kill, and also heat. And I forgot as well the sins of the father. All of them were really good, man. Like, I can't complain about that. Then Act 3 was like, yeah, it was okay. I mean, game over was really good. Like, my god. And this freaking bastard right here was the most pain in the ass thing I ever did on freaking veteran. It's still one of the hardest missions I've ever done on veteran difficulty. But for the video, let's go and play the prologue. We're expandable. Let's do it. God damn, I would never thought I'd be playing this in 2024. Ah. Good old days, man. Welcome to the crew expandables. Beautiful price. Oh my god, price. I love you so much. Ah! Holy crap, this used to be much more better than what I remember. What the heck? You know what? For a game that was made in 2007, I believe. Holy crap, it still holds up after so many years, man. Hooray, let's do it. Yeah. Motherfucker. Okay, yeah, I, did, I meant to do that. You know, yeah, I'm fine. It's so funny as well with Call of Duty 4 how this was one of like my first Call of Duty games. You're not going to believe what I played it on. I played the bloody game on the freaking Wii. Out of all the ones that I played back then, I played it on the Wii. I can't complain. Though. I mean, I was such a bloody bitch playing this freaking mission, dude. I don't know what it was back then. I was just terrified half the time on most of the missions. Now I didn't know what the heck I was doing half the time. Mm, you suck. Oh! <laughs> that was awful aim. Here we go. 
there we go. Uh, yeah, playing Call of Duty 4 on the Wii actually made me get more into Call of Duty than I started playing on the Xbox 360 once we got a 360. And ever since then, I've been playing COD for like 15, 16 years of my life. I know I was quite young to play this when I was younger, but you know what? He doesn't like, why not? Oh my God. Oh, what a good time to go on to here. I think about what we're going to think about. I really can't see shit properly, but let's do it. Oh, I guess I miss you, man. Not the new gas and the new Modern Warfare. I miss the OG gas. I mean, the entire game for Call of Duty 4 was just good, man. I know I didn't really play a lot of multiplayer, but when you look at everything else, campaign was really good. Multiplayer was good, even though some things were freaking broken or where, well, basically what I remember of the game. I know many of you that might be watching this video right now are like more OG than what I am. But for the campaign wise, it just was really proving to everyone on what Call of Duty was going to be for the future. It's so funny on like where you look at Call of Duty now. Now, it's like this is like a full masterpiece compared to what we freaking have now. I have to give like credit for Affinity Ward when they made this man because they were going above and beyond basically. It was like when Call of Duty first came out, it was all World War II shooters. And Affinity Ward's like, nah, fuck that. We're gonna do like a sort of a modern military simulator. And it worked out for them. Considering that when the Xbox 360 came out and this was one of like the games that you were able to get when you bought the 360, it was just a really good time, dude. I still wish I had the bloody Wii copy, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. Cool. Fuck that price, I'm going forward, man. I remember my cousins on my dad's side of the family. I remember them playing these missions back then when I was younger. Mate, I thought this was the, like one of the best things I ever saw in my life. It was so good, dude. It was so funny as well because on the, well, the Xbox 360 edition, I didn't really buy it until four or five years after. Because like what I said earlier, I played it on the Wii. And all of a sudden, I come along and go, you know what, let's just buy it for the Xbox. And I did play it on my other two accounts that I did have. <laughs> it was like, yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, I could play the remastered right now, but I don't really want to do Download a freaking like 40 plus gigabyte game. Oh yeah, look at this freaking thing. It's a playing nuclear bomb. Oh price, look at you. You're so beautiful. Oh damn, when you compare what price is now, mate, that looks like a freaking wish.com edition. Yeah, I'm getting it. Uh, uh, yep, got it. Get off the ship. Oh, fuck, I didn't realize. Oh, saw. So oh, help me. Christ, don't die on me, you bastard. I hope you don't die. Hey, what the fuck am I saying? Oh, he said it! Run first, run! There's some fing out here, okay. Oh, this was the thing that I got really terrified of when I was younger. But back on the freaking way of how hard the controls used to be, I used to freaking fail this all the freaking time! This is why when my cousin's like, hey, you wanna give it a go? I was like, nah, I mean, you're there, you are now, it's very different. But this was a such a pain in the fing ass. <laughs> run first! I can do this in real life. There's no fucking way I'll be doing this in real life, god damn, I think I will have a bit. Yeah, I can't speak English for shit. Helicopter! Oh my god, the fing screen's all freaking hickory dickory dog. I'm fing running, dude! I'm jumping! Oh! No! No! Ah! Gotcha. Thank you. Ah, what a lovely time. It's not like the ship's gonna be sinking. The ship is sinking. If Andy Ward presents. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And that's how you start off your game, man. Like, you gotta think about what it was like back in 2007 when this first came out. People were like, oh my fucking god. Yeah, but nowadays people complain about the smallest things in the game. Still do. Oh, hang on. Is this the... Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll definitely know. My like for the video. This is definitely not going to be allowed on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, for like a fictional storyline that they have done. Man, they did a really good job. I'm not going to lie, dude. But, but I mean, comparing to like what Modern Warfare Remastered is, it's so good. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, leave me alone. If I go... <laughs> Okay. Ew, you bastard. Oh my god, man. You really think you can do this to me? Do you know who I am? I am Jonathan. I live all the way in bloody Australia, and I don't care what you say about me. Okay, yeah. I can't really show this properly, so let's go and skip this part, because I don't want YouTube to come and freaking, uh, kick my ass. Wow, look there. Well, we did such a good job. Yeah, well, man, he did execute the freaking president. <laughs> oh, blackout. What's going on, dude? Mate, whoever thought of this design for the M4, mate, I fucking love you guys so much. So I'm going to be real to all of you. This is my favorite design for the M4A1. Like, how can you say no to this kind of design, man? Oh, that was easy. Oh, man, can they do more remasters for the old cards? God, I miss it, dude. Hang on, what we're doing? Don't tell me you're gonna fire a fucking flashbang for that. Oh, I'm fucking blind. Oh, die. Fuck it. Really? Oh, I fucking hate you. Okay, I'm not that toxic. How did I complete this on freaking veteran back in the day? You know, it's been so freaking long. I don't know what's what anymore, man. Hello? Want some claymores in front of the door and get their attention. Uh, yep. Okay, how do I do this? Flashbang. Oh! <laughs> hey. 
beautiful. Oh shit. You know what? For a game that came out in 2007, it's still holding up pretty damn well. I'm not going to lie. Even though a few things could be a little bit outdated, but for a game that came out all the way like 17 years ago, I'll give them credit to it, man. A freaking stovetop with a freaking, is that like a plate that I've got in my own house? I swear. <laughs> uh, you played this one and you go to Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 and the storyline just got more deeper and darker and more depressing. Then COD Ghost came out. Yeah, we're not going to talk about freaking Call of Duty Ghost. There's no way I'm going to be playing that game. <laughs> this might be a really bad take, but I think COD Ghost is one of the worst CODs I've ever played. Vanguard's right next to it. Oh, well, look at this. What a lovely time to go around here. Hang on, it's going to go bang, bang, boom, boom. Aha. Yep. Oh, wow, that was freaking anticlimactic, wasn't it? When a game used to be all about war. Fucking okay, what helicopter? Oh, fucking shit, dude. They didn't get a chance to even freaking... Oh, my God. I hate when they do that. Ah, hang on, I can use a fucking new troop. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that was beautiful. But hey, how about all of you? Did you play Call of Duty 4 back in the day? Because I know some of you did say, oh, go back to the old COD games. So I'm like, hey, if you did play it back in the day, let me know down in the comments down below. Or even your first Call of Duty game, let me know as well. It's also crazy to me of like how there are people out there that have never played COD in their life. And all of a sudden, they're going to go like, play the new Call of Duty game, which is going to be BO6, and they're going to go, oh, yeah, it's my first COD game. I'm going to be like, excuse me? Like, that's going to be insane, though, of how of how long Call of Duty's been out for, and some people have never played the game. Like, what? Oh, why can't we? Just go back in the day, man. Oh, nice vehicle. Must be freaking Damien's freaking car. Oh, man. D d oh. <laughs> Where is the informant? Stop it, Zilius. Stop Sumas. Where is he? It's right over there. Oh, fucking hell, guys. And Cameron was like, what did I do to this? <laughs> Uh, like how pissed off they get because of this. They're like, going, hey guys, how's it going? Anyway, where were we? Hey. Oh shit. I, oh, that was a family. Hello, anybody here? <gasps> oh. That was not violence at all. That was just me uh, shooting with an RT button. Oh, really, guys? Oh, beautiful. Fuck off. Hold up. You're trying to tell me that the person's in this freaking shite hole. Oh my god, you can't see crap. Holy crap, man. You're going to have a bloody headache. Oh, I know this bug in the back of my head. <laughs> that was so simple to do. Hey, anybody around here? Hey. How's it going? Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, hang on, it can't be that hard. Okay, you know what? I can't see shit. Ah! My god, you're gonna fucking go. Oh shit. Oh, there's gas. Oh, fuck it, seriously? Really? Bloody hell, I've played this game so many goddamn times. I don't even know what I'm doing. Is that piss? Ready for this amazing gameplay? See? Look at that. Like, wow. Well, well, well. Look who it is. God damn, Nikolai. Oh, I miss you, man. It really seems to be with all the newer designs on, like, the newer Modern Warfare games. I mean, a couple of them look good, but I really do prefer the older design on the original Modern Warfare. I don't know why. But for Captain Price, I do prefer the newer one over the old one. Everyone else, it's like, what the f***? they do. Like, I know it's a completely new generation of players, but I mean... Really? Man, who would ever thought this is gonna be a freaking Sunday cruise, you tell me? Oh, yeah, it's just freaking sitting there, my fucking arse. Yeah, okay. You know what's so funny as well is that the whole entire reason that I want to play Call of Duty 4 was because of Merc Music. And I saw that he's playing this game after, like, 17 years. I'm like, 17 years? Now, this is gonna be one of my all-time favorite campaign missions in Call of Duty 4. And I think it is my top five favorite missions of all time in Call of Duty history. And that is insane to say. I don't know why why? But it just really made me feel like this, like, Black Hawk Down, if that makes any sense. Because that movie, fucking hell, I love that movie, dude. And it was just me going through, like, all the different war movies, or when I was younger, of course. And I don't know why. It was just this specific mission on the game that I just loved. And I still remember when I used to always replay the game over and over again and get different weapons all the time. Like, goddamn, I think I was spending, like, five or six hours after school just getting different weapons and that. I'll show you what I mean by that. I mean, down the mountain, you will be coming down the Mountain. Let you know what the best thing of all time is. The tenor Vargas. How do you say that? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Okay, anyway, here it is. Oh, beautiful. This is the area that I used to always get different weapons all the time. Like, all of these weapons here, I used to, like, replay the campaign over and over again. Just to use every single weapon on here. Even though this was a different time back in the day, but I mean, like, come on. Like, this was when I was starting to, like, play more games. And now, look at that. I'm like, I'm just freaking piss easy. Anyway, where were we? Ooh, that beautiful. Man, this shotgun is so beautiful. I miss this bloody gun. How they never bought this back? Holy shit, dude. That's America. Do you find that crazy as well? Or how they actually got the military to play the game and see like what's right what's not right when developers actually cared about their game i can't really say that because i know there are developers out there that really care about call of duty but because of management they get screwed over but because of all the drama that cod has now I, you know what i have no idea anymore i'm not a game developer so i don't really know how things actually work properly oh, this is the one Ooh. 
I'm not playing on the easiest difficulty. It's fine. Come on, man. I don't want to freaking struggle on an old game. Oh, hang on. I'm freaking hell. Intel right there. Hang on. I've only got six. To oh. oh, what a lovely time. Such a realistic simulation, you know? <laughs> it's Call of Duty, okay? Hello. Ooh. Hang on. Is there another one here? Oh, yep. I remember this one. Thank you. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, oh, fuck, that was fast. Man, I can't wait to see what freaking the next cause is gonna be. It's gonna be like a whole like death animation. Be like, he did so well, but he died. The oh, fuck. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. That guy's driving like a freaking Mario Kart. Easy. Holy shit, somebody's flying freaking RPG bombs like it's freaking, uh, no, boom. <laughs> I know on my right side. Oh my god. I swear to god, if I got killed by that, I would have lost my crap. I always thought these missions were much more longer, but I mean, playing it now, it's like, fucking hell, what's happened? Damn it, why wasn't I like this age playing COD 4, man? Okay, where we going? Going to, uh, where we going? Hey! <laughs> How easy it used to be, you just go jump. Oh. <laughs> this is so simple, dude. Oh, I love this freaking area, man. <laughs> yeah, please don't, don't f*** me over. Corporal Yang, welcome. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. Come around. Oh, hang on. He's up here. <gasps> no. Well, when Call of Duty used to be about military, now it's about fucking... I have no idea. Oh, my God. The freaking things are going flying past. I bet. Ready? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. How the hell do I remember things more often than freaking math? How to open doors right here, everybody. Oh, that's one way to open a freaking door. Oh, damn. What an absolute waste of my goddamn time. We did all of this for what? Absolutely nothing. At least I can shoot all the freaking, freaking TVs. Oh, I think these people are going to go, what the fuck is wrong with you shooting all these TVs? No, there is an achievement to, well, every freaking TV, but fuck that. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. That was so good, man. Oh, okay. The bomb. Man, what an absolute shocker. Ambush. What kind of fucking ambush are you telling me? Oh, fuck. Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. And, mate, it's so unfortunate that I couldn't really play the multiplayer. Hang on, what the fuck did I just say? Anyways, yeah, it was unfortunate that I wasn't able to play the multiplayer because of where I live. And it's pretty much dead where I live. So, I'm sorry about that. But, hopefully, I can make it up to all of you for playing the campaign. But, hey, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty 4 videos, let me know down in the comments down below. But, don't worry, everybody. We do have more videos on the way for Call of Duty because I believe we're going to Modern Warfare 3 2011 edition. Not that one okay and hey if you're looking into buying call of duty 4 in 2024 i would say it's really worth it because it's so nostalgic to play even after 17 years and you can really get that feeling of what a lot of people had back in the day but if you don't really want to play the original version of it you can just go and buy modern warfare remastered it's really up to all of you but that's personally just me but it's up to you everyone's different i know i know it's youtube and 2024 okay yeah well, shut up and also before i forget make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers and mate we are so bloody close Close. It's so insane. But anyways, everybody, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night. Take care of yourself, and I will see you guys in my next video. Holy shit, I love this game!